Good morning, everybody. We're reading through Matthew 14, Mark 6, and Luke 9 this morning. Can you imagine how these disciples were managing? Um, so much of the perception has, has changed. They're seeing things that, that nobody nobody would understand what, what they were seeing. Uh, the reality that they thought uh, was uh, had been completely altered by, by Jesus Christ. And uh, so maybe um, at this point of the reading today, they were getting used to um, the many healings that they were seeing, um, the illnesses um, being dealt with, uh, the sight being given back, back to the blind, the lame walking. Um, maybe they were getting used to the, the demons being cast out. But could you imagine the first few times this happened, how freaked out they would be? Ah! Um, and in fact, by this stage, Jesus had actually sent them out to their hometowns with the mission, mission to do this, to, to tell everybody the kingdom of God was at hand and, and um, to, to do that, to heal the sick, bring sight to the blind, cast out demons. And they came back all excited that this, this had been happening. Um, but we have this, this thing here now where Jesus tried to get away because his his cousin John had been beheaded and Jesus just wanted a little time alone. Um, but that was never granted to him. And all these uh, people um, figured out where he was going and, and they met him there. And Jesus took the time and he ministered to them. Uh, in, in his grief, he still took the time to minister to them. And um, that's that always moves me. <sighs> But at the end of the day, um, he turns to his disciples and he says, okay, go ahead and feed them. And I'm like, what? <laughs> like, okay, um, like, there's a lot of people here. Uh, we know there was like uh, estimated at least 5,000 men. Um, but then you add the women to that and the children in, in the estimates somewhere between 10 to, to 15,000 um, people who would have been present, maybe a, a bit more. That's, that's a lot. That's uh a lot of stadiums don't hold that many people. And um, and here the disciples were told to feed these people. And before their very eyes, it, it Jesus um, blesses this lunch that was um, provided. Um, wasn't very much at all. Some loaves, some fish. Uh, he blesses it and he breaks it and he and he gives it to the disciples and then in the disciples hands because he had told them to feed the crowd he enabled them now to follow his commands he gave them that command he now enabled them to carry that out and so in their hands they're seeing the food multiplied it's in their hands that it's multiplied wow do you know what that would do to your mind Wow, they're seeing this right in front of them. It's just amazing stuff. And uh, there's this thing that happens to us, though. When, when there is an incident, whether it's a, a trauma or whether it's just something that we're seeing, and, and our mind has no reference. Our mind has no reference at all. So it doesn't know how to deal with this. It doesn't know how to frame this. It, it will turn around and it will, it, will make, it, 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 it will make it into something that it can handle. It will, it will either excuse it away or it will just shut down. It won't process it at all. It just buries it, doesn't deal with it. We know this happened because a little while later, something else really incredible happens. Jesus comes to them in the middle of a storm, uh, walking on the water. And this is so traumatic for them that we're told that they actually screamed. They screamed. It's so traumatic. And, and Mark records it saying that when Jesus um, got into the, into the boat and, and the storm quieted down, um, they were, they were baffled. They were baffled about this. It, it, it just, they, they couldn't process this whole thing. And, and Mark says that the reason this happened, um, is, is because they were blocked. They were blocked because they did not understand about the loaves. They, they, they couldn't understand what happened with the loaves. So they couldn't process this next thing. 
hearing Jesus walking on the water. They, they just, it just wasn't registering because their, their minds had already shut down because of what happened with the loaves. This is so important because a lot of people are missing the miracles all around them. They're, they're missing what God is doing all around them because uh, they have entered into this place of disbelief for whatever reason. They have entered into this place of disbelief. Their mind has shut down. They're not processing at all what they're seeing. Uh, and they can't credit it to God because they don't understand this, this whole thing. And uh, can, you know what? There's a lot in the church that are there. There's a lot that are there. They cannot accept. They cannot process what God is doing around them. Uh, so I'm just going to throw that out there. I'm going to leave that with you. I want you to talk that over with the Lord because I have nothing to offer you about that. Uh, we have to be open to him. Uh, we can't be in a place of disbelief or we just can't function with him. So, uh, yeah, if you're having problems seeing miracles around you, take it to the Lord. Okay? You guys be blessed. Be encouraged today. Love you all. God's all around and he's doing miracles in your life. God bless.